Alrighty, what's up everyone? So today I finally have an update on the digital dash, the custom digital dash. So let's check it out. So as you can see, it is running here. It's kind of mocked up now in place. Let's see, let's go for a little test drive. Let's see how it works. I've got cables kind of dangling everywhere right now. But uh, as you can see, working, no power issues, nice and fast. So that is awesome. Looks like I'm getting a little bit of a glitch with the RPMs up on the top right when it goes to 900 or something. Yep, but uh, it overall it is working and no power issues. So let's take it for a little spin and see how it works. hit the mile per hour is dropped off. I'll have to fix that. It's probably just a CSS issue. And I'm not sure if the uh, temperature is reading correctly. So it looks like I have a few bugs. But in general, not too bad. I uh, gotta figure out that mile per hour thing and the RPM when it goes below 1,000. But overall, working great. RPMs are reading awesomely. So you can kind of see in the back. So when I do the RPMs up. Wow, working awesome. So now that I got the power issues all figured out, it is working and all the stuff that I need to fix is super easy. Um, just the CSS and the actual um, like layout of the dash and stuff like that. So just need to figure out a way to get it mounted uh, correctly and get the wires wired up permanently. So as you can see, I'm gonna turn the car off now and the Raspberry Pi turns off, which is awesome. So the screen always does that and then it turns right off. And then the only downside with the Raspberry Pi right now is it takes a while for it to boot up. So it takes close to like 40 seconds or a minute um, to boot all the way up. But I figure it's not too bad because, you know, hop in the car, start going, and then by the time you start going enough, it will be uh, all on and reading your data and stuff like that. So super happy with the progress. Um, I cannot wait to use this dash every single day. It's gonna be great. I gotta get a way to have a, find a way to mount it permanently so that it uh, won't fly around when I'm drifting and things like that. But this is going to be awesome. So you can kind of see it's taking a while to boot up still. And once this boots up, it has to load Chrome. And then Chrome is what um, is reading the dash. So I'll fix that little pop up later. But uh, there's full boot up. So, thanks so much for watching everyone. Uh, I'll have the final instructions up on how to build one yourself now because um, now anyone can build one and put one in their car. Um, so I might start selling them if people want them. Um, I don't know, if you want one, you might buy one or whatever, uh, throw a comment in the description or throw a comment in the comment box below. Uh, it'll probably go for about 400, 500 bucks just because the parts are kind of expensive and then it takes a lot of time to set up. Um, I might be able to get that price lower, but uh, total cost of parts I think is about um, 200, maybe a little bit lower. Um, so if you wanna do it yourself, that would be awesome. Um, but I might start selling them too. So keep an eye out for that and comment if you're interested. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, have a good day and go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the video. See ya.